Hi, Sarah Banis here, Learn to Craft. I am going to show you something super neat today. I'm going to show you how to make the cardstock flower vases with the flowers in them. These are so much fun and they're going to be fantastic for Mother's Day coming up, Valentine's Day coming up, uh, graduations coming up. Just so many neat things you can do with them. These are fantastic. This is a fairly new trend at this point. So super fun. I love them. So let's get rid of this. If this video is of interest to you or helpful, like the video that helps me out a lot, but also subscribe to my channel. When you're subscribed, you'll get a notification when the new videos come out probably once or twice a week. Lots of neat ways not only to learn how to use your machines, whether that's a Cricut or a Silhouette or a Scan and Cut, but also how to design for yourself. There's a really great series we're midway through on designing. You're not going to want to miss it, so make sure you do subscribe so you get those notifications. Speaking of, um, so I mentioned Cricut, Silhouette, and Scan and Cut. We're doing this in uh, Cricut Design Space. You can cut this on any machine that you have, any plotter that you have, you can cut this on. I just, I had to pick one, so this is what I picked. Uh, the only other thing, join us on Facebook. I'm going to link in the video description. I'll link everything we use here. I'll link this this um, flower and vase SVG set. Fantastic. I'll link that in the video description. Um, so when you're looking at the video underneath, depending on if you're on mobile or on desktop, it'll say more or have an arrow going down. Click on that to expand. In there, I'll put the link to the SVG. And I'm also going to link one of our Facebook groups. I'm going to link Cricut and Silhouette for Beginners. That one's probably about 200,000 members. We have a total of about 3 million members on Facebook across all kinds of arts and crafts. Um, but I'll link Cricut and Silhouette for Beginners. You'll love it there. You'll fit right in. Super friendly, super helpful. So make sure you do join us there. I give away free fonts and designs all the time. So Join us there. <laughs> now let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get rid of this. This is so easy and so much fun. So I've already uploaded these. Now when you upload these, they're all going to upload two sides. So they're ready to cut. You don't have to do anything. That's that. Let's see. That's that. Those are the flowers. And then this is the vase. Oops. So there we go. Now we have everything. Okay, so these right here, these are um, like for, how do I say, explain it to you. This is for the bottom of the vase. That's like just decorations for that. And then also in here are, here, I want to move these all over to the side. It's quite a bit of stuff. So, and then I'll move, that's the flowers. That's that. This is the vase. So move that over to the side. I already know that I want to do the flowers um, like a yellowy kind of. So I want, I'm going to do them like yellows and oranges and reds. And then, of course, I'll do the. Um, so let's ungroup this. So I have that selected. And I'm up here on the upper right. I'm going to click ungroup. Now, if you're unfamiliar with how to download designs and then upload them to Design Space or Scan and Cut or Silhouette Studio, um, look at the group chat, look at the channel, my channel, and there's a video on there for each of those on how to download and then extract and then upload. It's incredibly easy. So I think I'm going to get rid of, I don't think I'm going to put one of these on there for now because I just want this to be. I want you to see how these are made and how incredibly easy they are. So that's the butterfly. Um, this is a little tag that we can add on. And I think I am going to add the tag. So I'm going to ungroup that. And that's going to give me two layers. Yep. So we'll cut both of those. And then for the tag... I think I'm going to, oops, I think I'm going to leave the tag um, blank for now because I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to use this for. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave it blank for now 
And then I'm going to add my sentiment later once I know what I'm going to use this vase for. So that's that. I'm going to change the color of these just so that I know what color to cut them. I think I'm going to make that... I think I'll make the butterfly like an orange color. And then... I think for the vase, so I was a little indecisive on what color I wanted to do the vase itself. I think what I'm going to do for the vase itself is I think I'm going to cut that in, um, I think I'll actually cut that in white. I think that that would be really pretty um, if I cut that in white. So let's change this whole thing. Can I change that all at once? I think I can. Let's see. Yep, I changed it all. So I'm going to cut that all in white. I think that's going to be really pretty. And then as we move forward with these, in a later video, I'll show you how you can like add text and then do that as a print then cut right onto the vase itself. And we'll be able to do some really, really neat things with this. But for now, I just want to show you the basic how to and how to put this together. So, and this is like, except super duper easy. Okay, so that's that. And then for the flowers, I am going to want to, I'm going to do that, like I said, I'm going to do that like in a yellow and an orange. So let me ungroup that. And then I will do, oops. Let's see, I'm going for attack or somewhere. Nope, okay. So the two, there's two, there's four pieces to the flower. These two, the two larger ones are the outside and these two are the inside. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do all of the flowers in like yellows. I think I'll do them all in yellows. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I think I'll do those all in yellow and then I'll do the insides um, all in orange. And then I'll cut, when I cut the butterfly, I'll cut that a different shade of orange. Or maybe I'll even cut that red. Maybe I'll cut that red. Okay, so for these, we need six. So we need six copies of all four of these, right? So just one second, let's get these all together. Okay, so those are all together. And now I need six copies of that. So I need to, right here on the upper right, I have it all selected so you can see that I pulled my mouse over all of that to select all of that. And then on the upper right here, I'm going to click duplicate one. Two. Three. four, five, six. So I think that actually gave me seven total. I think I have six and then I think I duplicated it six times and have seven, which is fine. I want to have one extra anyways, just in case. So I have enough to fill my base. Uh, just to be sure. Actually, you know, I'm going to duplicate it one more time just to be sure uh, because I don't want to get over to, to the craft table and start putting it together and not have everything I need to show you. So, so that's that. Okay, so that's all of those. Move these over to the side and then let's find, oops. It's okay. There's just a lot of stuff on here at once that I'm trying to navigate without uh, reducing the size of it because I know this is the size that I need it. Okay, so this is this, all of, all of these parts. So this is the bow that is going to go on um, around it. And then, and then, so that's like, there's like a strap that's going to go around that, the thinnest part, the narrowest part of the vase. And then the bow. I think I'm going to make that all the same color. And I think I am actually going to make that. Um, I think I'm going to make that the same 
orange color of the flowers because I think that'll be really pretty to kind of tie it all together like that. And then this, let's see, I guess we'll cut that, this color and that orange. And then I want these all will be cut in green. And I want to duplicate that a couple of times, these ones, because I know I'm going to want more than just those three. I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to want, so I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to, I know I'm going to want at least, at least two more sets. So I'll do it one, two. I think that'll be plenty. If I need more afterwards, I'll cut more, but I think that'll be plenty. Um, okay, so, all right, so I think that's everything we need. For this, so this is the, um, that is this, that is the tag. And I think for the tag, I think what I will do is I think I'll do the inside of it white. And I think I'll do the outside of it red. I think that'll really pop against the vase. Okay, so that is everything that we need. So now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to send it to my machine. We're going to get this all cut. And then we'll go over to the craft table and assemble it. Okay, so here we are at my craft desk. Um, I have already cut what we need. I've already actually made these ones so that you didn't have to watch me do it all on camera. Um, super easy. So I'm gonna link everything that I use in the description, like I said. So this that I have used here, this is 65 pound Recollections brand cardstock. Um, this is almost exclusively what I use. We, the vase I actually made with a little bit heavier of a cardstock. You could definitely use a 65 pound. Um, but this is actually a Cricut brand one that I really like. It's got, it's really hard to see in the video, but um, it's got almost like a linen texture to it. It's really, really pretty. And it's maybe just a little bit heavier. I'd say maybe this is 70, 75 pound. Um, but either way, it, it, you can cut it in the 65 pound too. So these are really, really simple. I just want to show you how I make the flowers and then we will put the vase together um, and we'll put the flowers in there. So a couple of things that we're going to need. Um, we need these cut, obviously. We need uh, glue. So for these, for this, use a hot glue. Um, I personally, if you do not have one of these, I make sure I'm getting this on video. So this is fantastic. If you don't have a cordless hot glue gun, you need one. I waited way too many years to get one. I'm going to link this one in the video description. I almost bought one that was like a hundred plus dollars. So glad I didn't. This one I got on Amazon. It was like 40 bucks or $45, something like that. I think 40. Um, and it works so good. I use it all the time. Highly, highly recommend. And not just for um, not to go on and on, but not just for, um, the not dealing with the cord being in the way, but also because you put it down when you're done and you don't have to worry about tipping. It's just game changer. So I'll link that in the video description. So we have that, we have our tag, we have, um, these are the parts of the vase. So those will go all around, right? Those are the parts of that. And then we have the parts of the bow and the inside of the vase. Okay. And then we have this. So this is the glue that I'm going to put together the vase with. If you do not have this, don't worry about it. You can also use just a regular stick glue that you would get at the dollar store, any place. Um, and that'll work fine. For me, I really, I've always used the, the cheap glue sticks and they work fantastic for paper crafts. 
but they are a little bit messy. And recently I found out about this and I found, got on Amazon, I found this and then I found this uh, cheap applicator. Again, paid like four bucks for like 12 of them. I'll link these both in the video description. Much, much easier. Uh, not easier, but cleaner. You don't make as much of a mess. You don't get it on your hands as much at least. So let's go ahead. And one other thing, you don't need this, but it makes a whole lot easier. Quilling tools. So I don't know if you've ever seen paper quilling, um, but that's all these are. These were super cheap. I got them on Amazon also. Um, and I'll link that in the video description. So quilling tools, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's got like a split in this and then you slip it onto the uh, paper and you turn it. Okay. So this is what I do. Okay. So there's four parts to the flower, right? So this is what I do, how I do it. I take and I, again, I just want to make sure I'm getting this on camera so you can see it. I rip. So you, 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 when you do rolled flowers, you roll from the outside in for the first three. So the innermost three pieces, you do not need this inside part. So that inside part, what that is, that's what you glue onto the bottom. And you'll see that on this final layer. But for these first four, I found it's easier not to use them. If you want to use them, use them. I found it's easier not to. So I'm ripping the first four off, okay? So one, two, three, four. I'm ripping it right at that fourth one, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, again, you, you roll from the outside into the center. I already have my hot glue gun heated up. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here. I should have had my glasses on. I am way too old to be trying to do anything that takes any kind of sight <laughs> no glasses on. Um, there we go. So you can see how I slipped it right on there, right? And then you just turn. So that helps immensely. Okay, and you don't have to be perfect with this, but we're turning it, turning it, turning it, turning it. I'm trying to keep it kind of flat a little bit so I can make a huge difference. We'll fix it at the end. And then just slide it right off of there. Okay, and then you kind of let it open up a little bit. Not a ton, but let it open up some and flatten it out so the top and the bottom are like that. Okay, and then take a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of hot glue. And this is the thing. If you burn yourself, put alo on it right away. <laughs> um, so, but I like, you gotta kinda let it sit for just a second. Not long enough to solidify it, but just a second, or otherwise you'll burn yourself, okay? So then, and if you do burn yourself on hot glue, another tip for somebody who's burnt themselves lots and lots and lots of times, um, don't don't pull it away. Don't pull your finger away while it's still hot. You gotta let, if you let it sit there, even though it hurts, it'll um, it'll be less painful in the long run. You let it like solidify and then pull your finger off and then it's not as bad in the long run. Not medical advice by any means, but crafting advice. Okay, so now, that's kind of where I ended that one, right? And now I'm going to meet the next one up right. See how the next one's bigger? I'm using the next size up. And again, I'm rolling from the outside into the center. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put just one little dot of glue. And I like to make sure that I am rolling in the... Oh, I'm sorry. I actually made a mistake here. So let me put this down. What I want to do is I want to um, push that down just a little bit. And the way that I kind of make the bottom of this um, stay together, make, make the rolled part stay together, is I put a little bit on there. Okay, and then you gotta let that sit for a minute. You gotta let that sit and uh, kind of heal. So that's gonna need to sit by itself for just a second, okay? So, Go ahead. I don't want to touch it while it's still hot. Okay. So I can take this off of here. A little dot that I put on there. Now, again, I'm going to put just the smallest amount there. And then going the same direction as the first one. I'm going to put that on there. 
bring it into the camera. I'm going to put that on there. And you got to make sure also that you're not tipped up like that, like this. You need to have it tipped at the same angle as the first one. And then after you've given it a second to kind of heal a little bit so you're not burning yourself, put your finger on there and just tap it down. Okay. And now, now it's all set on there, right? So now roll around in a circle and just a tip as you're rolling. So once you get it right there is where you hit that second roll around, right? So that's where it started. And now you want to try to make sure that you're not ending up with them like that, but that they're layered like that. And that's not 100% easy, but it will help you a lot. It'll make your end product look a lot better if you try to make sure that you do get that spacing correct, okay? And if they're not perfect, no one will know. Other than you, because we're all picky, right? I want the perfect, pro perfect project. Okay, and it'll kind of that curve will kind of work itself out as you work it around. So now this time, I don't know if you can see into the center, I'm going to stick my finger right into the center and push down on that first layer while I'm holding this, okay? And then I'm going to put just a dab of glue, a tiny, tiny little dab, let it heal up for just a second so I don't burn myself. And you gotta be patient with this. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold that for a second so that that can heal. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the same thing again. So to solidify this bottom, I'm pushing in so that that middle part that's shorter is coming up to the top. Okay, so I'm getting a nice, make sure I can get that into focus. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this glue and I'm gonna make sure that I get all of those layers. Okay, and that's gonna solidify that whole bottom. And if you're not familiar with rolling roses, um, I have a video on that on the channel that you can look up as well. Um, but it's the, it's the same idea where you want to, on roses, you wait until the very end to do this because all of the layers are, um, it's, Roses are generally only one roll, but because these are so much, so many more petals, if you made it one, they wouldn't make pieces of paper big enough to, to cut that. So this had to be done in four. And you, do, you don't want to drop this down. You want to put this down for it to heal because that's a significant, I don't know if you can see that or not, that's quite a bit of glue. So if I were to drop that, if I were just to, oops. If I were just to put that down like that, see how that starts to like, the middle starts to like drop out. You wanna make sure that you're pushing up on that middle part so that you, and don't, don't do what I'm about to do, but once it starts to heal, I like to push down on it. That's not hot anymore. I'm not gonna burn myself. If you do that too soon, you're gonna burn yourself, but that's not hot anymore. But that just kinda, shortens my drying time when it's almost healed I just push down on it okay so next piece is this size okay again from the outside into the center you want to make sure that you're putting the dab of glue so that it's going the same direction and again with the um again with the making sure that your pieces are in between if you lay that first one in between these two petals, that will help you with that. And again, making sure that you are putting this um, so that it's not slanting up. If it's slanting up, your roll won't go correctly. Okay, and then when you get to that first point where you're overlapping, you're gonna want to try to, again, space it so that they are three. Even if you're making that a little bit slack, that's okay, the slack will come together when you put the glue on the bottom, but you just want to try to, see how I'm trying to get a nice even roll on that? That makes just an absolute huge difference in your end project, okay? So roll, roll, roll. Again, I'm pushing in on the center while I'm doing it. Okay, and now I'm gonna try 
Make sure that your all of your rolls, see how that's like overlapping? You don't want it like that. Make sure that you're getting them all nice and even like that, okay? A tiny dab of glue. Okay, and then let that heal just for a second so that you don't burn yourself. And then try to get that so that that last one ends right in between these two, two petals. Try to get it so that last one ends there. Oops. Sorry to unroll a little bit on me. It's okay. Uh, what direction is this rolling? Like that, right? Okay. So now I'm going to flip it upside down. I'm going to try to get that roll back in order. There we go. Right, actually, yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to try to tighten that back up because I don't want to, I would rather it be loose than get messed up. So I'm just going to kind of pinch that and then I'm going to again all around everything that's new and also kind of tacking it onto that middle so that it all solidifies together. Okay, and that's because that loosened up a little bit. This one is gonna be just a little bit. I don't want it to drip down onto the petals. So I'm gonna flip that the other way so that it can just, and as it, <clears throat> excuse me, as it heals, oops, that was a little bit too, a little bit too early to touch it. And that's another thing. If you touch it too early, you'll end up with stringing. So you can see that this is kind of falling apart a little bit on me. Not a problem though. Once it heals, I'll push it all together. I don't wanna do it right now because I, ooh, I don't wanna burn myself. Okay. So that does not generally happen, but of course it's gonna happen on the one that I'm trying to show you, and that's fine. Mistakes happen, such as crafting, right? Just try not to, try not to get it um, onto your petals, because if you get that glue onto the outside petals, it's just gonna look terrible. But, okay, so sorry, I'm gonna try to get some of this glue off my fingers. Okay, so I am actually that is falling apart too much. So I'm going to see if I can. I'm gonna see if I can get that off of there, get that unrolled, and try to re-roll that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I only have glue on the bottom, so it shouldn't shouldn't be too much of an issue. I would rather re-roll it than have it be a disaster. I have put significant work into this. Okay, no problem at all. And this will re-roll super easy too this time. Because it's already all turned. And that glue at the bottom, you won't even see that in the end. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. Let that heal just a little bit. Okay, let's give that a second. I try not to make my videos wordy, so sorry for the extra time this is gonna take to do that part, or the extra time that took to do that part, but it will be worth it in the end. Okay, so now this time, I will get this correct. Okay, so now I have that all pushed up, and it looks kind of messy on the bottom, but again, you won't, you won't see any of that. That's all the bottom does not matter at all. Okay, there we go. Now this time, I'm gonna push that right up and you can see that I have that all pushed right up together. So now this time, I will hold it and <laughs> not let it fall. Okay, good, good. 
Now, <clears throat> excuse me, something else that I just want to talk about real quick here. We did not, I did not do anything at all with the vase other than cut it and we're going to make it. We're just going to put it together. But in the, when you make yours, you can do all kinds of neat stuff with it. You can take, so this is one of the panels of the vase. You could take and do a print then cut and put like mom and a beautiful script up it or, uh, you know, a nice saying or anything you want. So these are, and you can do that either with print then cut or you can do, you can cut words out in vinyl and put them on there before you put it together. There's going to be all kinds of really neat stuff that we can do with these vases. Very, very excited about this. I have been waiting to get my hands on one of these vase files for since the first one that I saw like maybe two or three weeks ago. Super, super, super love these. And like I said, I will link the vase in the video description. Okay, it's almost done. Sorry, these, these layers take a little bit, just a little bit longer. So let me show you, because I have one that is done that we just have to. So this is with all the layers put together, right? So that's that, and then this is what it will look like after we're done with it. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to curl these petals so that you go from this to this. Okay, that's super easy. And then there's something else that you can do also that I did not do here, and that's that you can ink it. Okay, this is, yeah, that's just about solidified enough, so I'm just gonna tap it down again. I don't recommend this, but it's what I do. Um, it's definitely, you know, you can burn yourself if you're not, if you're, if you're tapping that down before it's uh, cooled off enough, you will burn yourself. So I don't recommend doing it, it's what I do. Okay, so there's that. Again, you can't see from the top. You can't see that the mess that it was on the bottom. So we have one more layer, okay? So now this is the layer that we will uh, tack on to the bottom to put it all together. Okay, again, making sure we're going the same direction. Little tiny dab of glue. I like to start right around where the last layer ended. Tack that on there. Give 30 seconds to heal and now we will take this around. Again, when we get to this overlap part, you don't wanna overlap it exact. Okay, so try to get it so that you're at least getting some distance in the petals, okay? You wanna to try to get some distance in between so that they're kinda like, like that. I gotta be careful with this because this one did end up a little bit looser because of the issue in the beginning. But you still, that's important if you don't do that. Even if you have to loosen it up to do it, if you don't do that, your end flower will look Wonky. Wonky. It's one of my favorite words. Okay. Rolling. Rolling, rolling. Okay. So now when you get to the end here, when you get to this last layer, this is what I do to make it a little bit easier. I take and I fold that out, okay? So that gives me a clear area to work with when I'm doing this final healing stage. And this is this is the most important. You gotta make sure you have all of the layers covered. Okay, all of them. All of them covered. There we go, okay. And when you do it, it won't be this big of an, um, you won't have these issues. It's just because I loosened it up at the beginning too much. So I'm kind of, kind of having to be aware of that. Oops. And, and if you have some, um, part that goes over the bottom here, like that drip, it's okay. You won't see it in the end. So this one we do have to let heal for a second. This one does take a second. 
I'm gonna flip it so that that drip doesn't go any further up the petal because you don't want it like halfway up the petal. And then once this heals just a little bit, we can put this down and I will show you how to roll. And then after that, that shouldn't take too long and then we'll go ahead and we'll put together the vase. Just let this heal for one minute. Literally about a minute. So that is almost cool enough where I can go ahead and I can tap it down. And then I'll show you, um, you want to let it solidify just a little bit before you turn down that bottom edge, before you turn down this right here. So just let that keep healing, keep healing. It's almost healed enough. And then kind of start turning this. And then you can see on this one, this is kind of, kind of goopy because what I do is I take this and then you just turn that down like that, right? And then I take this and I use that to push it down into it. So I'm just pushing that down into the glue. Okay, and then making sure that this part is all a part of that final healing, the outside layer. And it's cool enough now that I can touch it enough to like tamp it down. When I tamp it down like that, it kind of just, it, the the less heat for my finger kind of quickens it up, makes it heal a little bit faster. But again, I don't, I will again remind you, I do not recommend that. Okay, so now you can see this looks messy. This doesn't look great, right? But now I'll show you what we do to, you know, actually, because we've been rolling for a while, I will show you in a second how to, how to take this, how we take this. Here, I'll show you just one of them, but then we'll put the base together and then we'll come back and we'll do this. So the way you curl these, and it makes a huge difference to do this, is to go like this. And you can use anything. You can use a pencil. You can use anything rounded. See how that curls it? So we'll go through and we'll, we'll curl all of these and that will make a huge difference. Okay, so we'll go through and we'll do that on this in a second. But let's get this put together now because this part is really neat. Okay, so that's that. That's the, These are the panels. This right here is the two inside parts, the two inserts, uh, bottom and top. Okay, and then this is the bow. Okay, and you'll see how that goes together in a minute. Okay, so that's that. Let me get this glue off my finger. Okay, that's the round part. Okay, so these are all, you can see that the, I don't know if you can see it. See how there's, it's all uh, scored. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through and we're going to bend these all. Bend them all in. Okay, and then we're just gonna kinda a little bit on, bend that just a little bit, these ones, so that we have um, the ready to go, okay? This is gonna be really super, super, super. Make sure you're bending them all in the same direction. I almost did not there. But you want to make sure you're doing that because, I mean, you can go back through and rebend them, but obviously the more times you bend something that's stitched like that, um, the weaker, you make it weak. So if you can get it right the first time, that would be better. I should have gone through and bent most of these first so that you didn't have to sit here through it, but it only takes a second. There's not only a couple. I think there's six panels. Yeah, so these are going to be fantastic for Mother's Day and Valentine's Day. And um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think Daughter's Day and Aunt's Day is coming up. 
not that you couldn't also give it to your son, but traditionally, I think that flowers would be fantastic for Mother's Day or Valentine's Day. Okay, so now what we're doing here is we are, you are adhering this to this. So we're gonna build the base going around, okay? So you want the bottom and the top lined up and then you want these edges lined up. So what we're doing is we're putting glue on this and this is like a fast healing glue. So, and like I said, this precision tip is just fantastic. And the nice thing is, is that even though it's fast healing, it's not like super fast healing. It's like the, it's like the perfect amount time-wise of healing. You still want to work at a, you know, a fairly quick pace. So, and another tip is don't get it right out to the outside. Like this, I got a little bit too close to the outside. But if you get it a little bit far away from the outside, then it won't like seep through. So this, we're going to end up with a little bit extra there. I'll take that and I'll put this over here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, sorry, I'm trying to get it on, on film while at the same time uh, getting it correct. Again, without my glasses, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, I'm gonna put this down. If I go off camera for a minute, I do apologize, but I want to get this before it heals, okay. And I want to try and get this. And so you can see what my what my my active working time is before it starts to heal. It's starting to heal right now. So that is how long I have to get on this kind of glue at least. Um oops. The um the school glue, the glue sticks are a little bit more forgiving. You have a little bit more work time and well actually i shouldn't say that. it's about the same it, it's probably about the same work time okay so that is almost almost perfect perfect enough for me okay all right so that's good and then you just want to kind of tap that down and then by the time we get on to the second layer let me show you this so that's nice and squared. And then if you if you see that you're a little bit loose on here, but you still have a little bit of work time left, just come back and like tap these edges. So like I said, if you are gonna put any sentiments on here with um, vinyl, do that before you start putting it all together. Okay, so now we have, this will dry by the time we get to by the time we get these done for the next part. So, um, let's do this part next. So I'm going to quickly up the edge, down the other side. And if you wanted to, you could even go in with like a sponge and sh sh like that. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna. Glue it all together and hope for the best. No, I'm just kidding. This will be fine. So. I don't know if I mentioned, I think I did, um, our Facebook groups. If you are not in our Facebook groups, highly, 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 highly recommend joining. So that helped out a little bit. I tapped this down. The bottom layer, I tapped down. Um, and that actually helped quite a bit with the lining up. And now, if you had two sets of hands, if you had somebody helping you, that would make it even easier. But either way, this, this will, that helps a lot. Okay, so I'm going to, well, I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to do it. Sorry if I go off camera, but I got it. It's more important to get this right. And it, because it is 3D, it's kind of a little bit, um, a little bit difficult to 
not difficult, but you have to, it takes a little bit of dexterity to, okay, so that, that was, and I would recommend, um, we'll do it on the next one, cleaning it up a little bit, cleaning up the, like brushing off the, um, I'll show you what I mean, the stitches, there's a little bit of like loose paper from where the stitches were, um, the, the, um, the cuts, the, like, the part that is scored with cuts. There's a little bit of loose paper there. Let me just show you what I mean. So you can, it's hard to see, but there's a little bit of like loose. We'll wipe that off on the next piece. That's something I would recommend. So see how this is coming together? This is gonna be super nice. So I'm gonna put this right here to just kinda, let me just make sure that we have all of these edges nice and tight What they still have a little bit of work time. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. So, next piece, it is gonna go, let's see, so that will go like that. So I'll put this on the outside again. definitely be more accurate if I had my glasses on. I never, never wore glasses my entire life. And then, um, and then I got old and I had to start wearing glasses. And I hate it. It's so much more convenient to have good vision. Okay. All right. One more. One more side. Okay, so now we'll take this and this is the fourth side. So we are getting there. Slowly but surely, okay. I'm gonna stand up to do this. I'm going to try to show you exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm taking that and I'm tacking that one first. And I'm letting that heal just the ever slightest amount so that I can work on the next part, which is this. And try to get that one exact. Smaller section here. And then this is the final part. I'm actually going to Okay. Yeah. I wonder if I can make like a form to um like a cardboard form to lay this on um to make it like just something that I can that is shaped like that that I can like hold it on to um, to tack these down while, to hold it while I'm tacking them down, just to make it a little bit simpler. And another thing about this, um, precision tip, so if there is any, like, little gaps, like that right there, you can stick that right down in there. I really, really, really like this precision tip. And like I said, these were not expensive. I'll link them in the video description. It's like, maybe four or five bucks for 12 of them. And they don't dry up either. I mean, it's got a little cap. I've used that one. This is at least the fourth or fifth time I've used that one with no issues at all. Absolutely zero drying in the tube, which is nice. Okay. All right, so we are getting there. Okay, so let this sit. And then we have two more to go. So this one is gonna be like this, glue on. And I gotta say, so this glue, the glue um, was a little more expensive. It was like maybe $8 for a thing of it. I did also buy some Aileen's, um, which seems to be similar to this, but cheaper. 
I have not tried that yet. I will uh, update you guys when I try it and I'll let you know um, what my thoughts are. I wanted to go through this bottle first before I open up another one. Um, and this one's lasting a super long time. So, um, but I will update you because the Aileen's, I think I got a three pack of it for like a dollar or more for like nine bucks instead of like the eight dollars this cost. But for, I mean, for what I've gotten out of this for eight bucks, 100% worth it. But it is a little bit obviously more expensive than the, um, you know, the dollar store glue sticks that you can get three for a dollar. Which again, do work. No problem at all with those. You could 100% put this together with those without an issue. Okay, so what I'm going to try doing is I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do this part first. I'm going to try doing um, the smaller part, this part right here first. Actually, that probably wasn't, probably wasn't the best idea. I'm going to go back to doing the bottom part first. That's, I think that seems to be easiest. So I'm going to line that up perfectly. I'm going to hold it just so that it, until it heals just a little bit like the last section. And I'm trying to like tap it to get it nice and, nice and smooth down. That one I got a little bit of leakage out of. Not bad though for being the almost the last panel, the fifth panel, and that's the first time I've had any leakage. So that's not too bad. Pretty, pretty happy with that. Now, what I'm going to do to make this a little bit easier on myself, I am going to, once we get this panel secured, I am going to put in the, um, the inside support, the small part right here. I'm going to put that in before we put on the final panel because that will, that will make it easier than trying to put that in afterwards just one second well i still have work time i'm trying to make sure that i'm getting nice lines this is gonna be really really pretty i almost you can you you can see that i switched over to pink instead of the yellow i almost did the flowers yellow i'm really glad i went with the pink the pink's really super pretty but Looking back, I think the yellow would have been really pretty too. Okay, so we need we have one more panel we need to put in. So now let's take a look at this, okay? So this is our inside first layer support. So I didn't realize this initially. This is super neat. So I'm folding these all in. I didn't realize this initially. These, you can put stuff inside of. So you put this down inside and then this layer goes up on top and this is the layer that the flowers go on. But in between the two, once you have this in, you can put stuff in there. You don't want to put heavy stuff in there, obviously, but you know, you can put in scrunchies or, you now this has little tabs also that you're turning in. And then let me just take a look here because I want to make sure that we have this. I think that this is going to be yeah, so what we're gonna do, you're gonna go exact with this. So let me just show you. A little bit of glue. Okay, and then you're gonna put that exactly so that that squares up just like that. Okay, and you're gonna do that all the way around. Square it up right around. I might be using a little bit more than you actually need. The, the, the dry time on this glue is just fantastic. It's just like the, like I said, the perfect amount of time where it's not dry for too long and, or it's not, you know, it doesn't dry too fast on you. Um, but it also isn't, you know, so it dries fast enough so that you get that, that immediate tack or fast enough tack to keep working. And then by the time you go back, like this is all solid now. Okay, 
Okay, so that is our base. Okay, so now, let's just see here. So this base is gonna go right here at the top. So where that, the very top of where those all come together, that's where that base is gonna go. So I am going to, actually I take that back, give me just one second. I gotta, I gotta think about how this goes together. So this last one is gonna go like that. So I have to think if I need to be able to get underneath where that is. I think I do, I think I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna put it all, I think I'm gonna put this all in there and then except for, I will not glue the very, very edge, I'll show you in a second, of the last layer so that I can, so that I'm able to get these little lips in there. So let me just go through quickly and glue five of the six sides, all of five, no, so I'm, the last one I'm not gonna do either. Okay, so I'm gonna leave two, I'm gonna do four, and then I'm gonna do half of the second one. So I'm gonna do all of four and half of the half of one, and I'm gonna leave one undone. The half one I'm going to put right here on this side, oops, so that I can slide that underneath there. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this right around like that. Oops. So this part, I gotta sit down and do this. Sorry if I go off camera again, I gotta, this does take some dexterity and would probably be much, much easier again with a second set of hands. But right at this moment, I do not have a second set of hands, so we will make do with my one set. And there we go. So now I'm gonna hold this for long enough for this to cure. Okay, and as it's curing, I'm kind of tacking whatever I can. I need both of my hands to hold this all together, but um, so I'm trying to hold it as best that I can so that it does cure all together. But then what I'm gonna do is once it's cured a little bit, so I'm gonna give it just, just another like minute or so here. And then once it's cured enough for me to let go, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna, uh, tack all the sides the best that I can while I still have work time. I'm gonna tack all of the sides the best that I can to, okay, so now I'm good to go. So now I'm gonna go in, I'm going inside of there and I'm pushing down and getting these the best adhered that I can. While I still have that work time, I'm getting that adherence to the inside. And again, I know this is a long video, but this is so, so much easier than it looks. Once you get these all cut and you start putting it together, it'll just, it'll come together for you. You'll just see how it all, how it all works out. And it's going to be super pretty when it's done. I mean, this is really going to be a bit of a work of art. So now this, you have to glue these. So you have to glue these and you have to glue this all within your work time. Okay. So... You need to work fairly, fairly quickly on this. Okay, so you need to work fairly quickly because you have two full sets that you have to get. Well, you know, I take that. Um, now I take that back. I'm going to do one and then I'm going to flip it out and I'm going to do the other, I think. Well, I guess we'll know in a minute if that works or not. <laughs> Um, so if it doesn't, you know what not to do. Okay. All right. Okay. So that is this side. So we'll tack that down. And of course, I just stuck my finger right in the glue. Finger, finger full of glue. Okay. Oh yeah. So this is, this will be fine because then what we're going to do this is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, I actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Before I tack this down, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of glue in there. And then I'm gonna try 
try to get that down. All right, so you're, you gotta work, you gotta work kind of quick on this. before it healed up on me. Okay. Good, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. We are doing good, doing good. Okay. Tap, tap, tapping it. Okay. I probably could have moved it up just, here, let me see if I can maybe zoom out just a little bit so you have a little bit more that you can see. Ooh, left the glue gun on. Did not need that on the whole time. Um, okay. So keep tacking this. Okay, now, now what we need to do, the final part is we need to, well, the final part for this, for the outside part, is we need to, Don't get sloppy now, Sarah. Okay, let me actually take a look here because you might remember that I um, that I left that one side of the inside support. So we're going to try, hopefully, hopefully we can slip this behind there. Should be able to, there we go. Perfect, perfect, okay. So that will slip right, these, right inside of there. I'm gonna try to, so I'm trying to tack lots of things at once here. So just bear with me for a second. This is gonna be perfect. Okay, so that is going to, and we are getting this almost exact, close enough that you wouldn't know that it's not. So I'm just, Again, in the initial heel time, I'm just kind of holding and tacking and straightening, holding, tacking and straightening all the way around. Okay. And then I'll go inside the bottom. Okay, and now while well, we still have that little bit of work time, we will just do this real fast. Okay, and there you go. There is the outside of the base. So pretty good, <laughs> not, not bad at all. Um, so we still have to, let me, let me try to see if I can zoom out and show you. So that is the base and that's the bottom, okay? Now, this will go like this, and then this will be the inside, okay? So I'm going to take, and I'm going to, we're going to do the exact same thing with this part. And then I have not made the decision. I was thinking about it before I started putting this together. I'm not sure if we should glue this. I don't think that we should glue this down, especially not if you're going to put stuff inside of there, right? Because if you're going to put stuff inside of there, you want the person to be able to take it out and then pop it back in and be able to use it, right? So, so I, I filled this up. I filled this bottle up right before I made this video. And this bottle is probably... I would say still half full. So that's not bad. Okay. So gotta make sure I hold that until it tacks up a little bit. that one until it tacks and glue the next one. And I mean, just think all the neat stuff you could do. You could use 
you know, some really pretty glitter self-adhesive vinyl, or you could use, I don't know if you have used the, um, the Cricut glitter pens at all, or the opaque pens are beautiful. You could do this in black or like a navy blue, and then use the white opaque pen to do like a nice floral pattern on the whole thing, and the vase would be absolutely beautiful. I think I'll make another one in the next couple of days, and I'll make it like that, and I'll show you guys what it'll look like. That'll be really, really super pretty. The opaque pens you can write on um, dark colors, and it shows. Super, super pretty. Those are fairly new. I just used them a couple, maybe like a month ago for the first time, and I really, really like them. Um, but the glitter pens are beautiful, too. There's there's one set that I have a total, total glitter crush on. Um, they're mermaid glitter pens, and so they're like these really pretty, like, you know, like that aqua blue kind of glitter and um, greens and just really, really pretty. Okay, let that one cure. We just have one more. And then before we slide this in here, we'll go back to working on that flower for a minute. Uh, because I want this to be, I don't want this to still have wet glue on it when we slide it into the vase because I don't want that wet glue to um, tack up the inside of the vase. But you can see that, so this is all put together now, right? So that's going to be that. So let's just put this to the side for a minute. So that's that. Okay, so we'll put this over here. Put this back on here. I should have brought a napkin out or a paper towel or something. Let me zoom you back in. And we'll work on this. Actually, you know what? I think I prefer this one. I'm not sure. Well, we have both if we need them. We have both if we need them. Okay, so we'll do this. Let's see how far out you come. So that we can make sure that we get all of it. Okay. All right. So this is what we're doing. We're going around from the bottom. You start at the top of the petal. If you start at the middle, you'll end up with a weird, but you're just kind of like when you wrap paper, but I like to kind of like roll it down. Okay. And this does take a minute, but I'm telling you that the end result is so incredibly worth it. And definitely, definitely, definitely do this with all of your rolled like roses and stuff. It'll make a huge difference in how they look. Now with rolled roses, I like to do it before I roll them because your petals are shorter and you can rip them if you don't. And don't get me wrong, I mean, sometimes you rip these too. And if that happens, it's no big deal. A petal or two missing makes it look more realistic like a real flower anyways. Um, but what I was telling you earlier that I didn't finish saying was um, something else that you can do to make flowers look more realistic that I have not done here, um, but I will in a future video, is you can take inking pens, like Ranger, or not, not pens, uh, inking pads. Like Ranger makes some, um, there's a couple of, Tim Holtz makes some, um, and you can ink the edges and it makes it look like distressed and like super pretty, but it makes it look like that shadow and it makes it look like even more realistic. This part does take a little bit of time, but again, I 100% worth it. And your finished product, you'll be glad that you went through and did this. And then what I do, so I do most of, you'll remember that we, um, you had four different, four different um, layers to this. I do all of the first, the, the biggest layer, the outside layer. And then I do all of the second most inside layer. And then I do most of the third one, which is that pink, like I do those all at once. And the tiniest ones you don't do. And you kind of just work your way around. Now, 
And right now it still looks a little bit wonky, but you'll see in the end that it'll all come together. And now you can start to see why it was so important that we spaced out the petals correctly, or to the best of our ability at least. It makes a huge difference right here. And if you have any that aren't spaced correctly, that look a little bit weird, just kind of, when you're curling, curl to the side like that. And then curl the other one the other way, and that'll kind of give you a little bit more um, dimension to it and kind of kind of help you out if they're not correct. And if you, um, if you don't have quilling pens or you don't have this size of quilling pen, like I said, you can use a pencil or a pen or anything rounded. The smaller the round is, the uh, more it will curl for you. And I'm kind of just using two fingers as I get down into these smaller pieces. And just grab it and curl it. Grab it on top and curl it down. And sometimes you'll get a tendency to grab two on these bigger petals. I recommend not doing that. If you do them um, in bunches like that, you can tell in the end it looks, it ends up looking like bunched up the, cause then the petals just kind of curl together instead of all being separate petals. We're almost done with this. So we're coming up. That is the one more of that layer. And now we are into, so that's the first two layers. Or no, that's the, so that's the first layer. So now these ones you can kind of do a couple at a time because these ones you just kind of, and these you can kind of just push out as you're doing it. So these, it's not as much curling. You still want to curl them. Um, but not, it's not as important that you get them nice and curled separately. Just kind of grab bunches of them at once and kind of just curl those down. You do definitely want to get this layer curled, though. And if you have the patience to do the this layer individually, it will make it will make it look even even better. Okay. All right. So that's kind of that, okay? So that's it. So let's get all of our flowers over here. Now there was greenery that went with this. Oh, you know, actually before we do the flower part, um, there was greenery that went with this set. I did not cut any of the greenery. Um, I ended up deciding against it. I decided I didn't want the green in there with the pink, but you can definitely put the green in there. Okay, so let's put our bow together. Bows are, actually, let's put this together too. This is the tag. So what I'll do is I'll take a little bit like um, Baker's twine. I have like decorative Baker's twine. So put the tab. I'm gonna turn my hot glue gun back on so we can hot glue our flowers on. So this is top part of your tag. And then you want to line that up with this, obviously. And again, so if you wanted to, before you had, you know, when you were setting it up, you could set this up to be a print then cut on this tag that you could put anything on there you wanted to. Um, you could do a right then cut with like the glitter pens, black glitter on there with, you know, love, love to mom or something like that. That would be absolutely beautiful. Um, there's just... That's why I love these machines. There's so much. So that's the tag. Super pretty. There's just so much you can do with these machines. Okay, so now let's work on the bow. Bows. Bows go like this. That is how you make a bow. Okay, so for bows, I prefer to use hot glue. Oh, hopefully I have enough. Hopefully I have enough hot glue in there because I do not have another stick down here. So, if I do not have enough, then I guess I will have to break the video. You won't notice though. 
thanks to the wonder of editing. So that's the front of your bow. And then this will be actually the tail of the bow probably could have gone. No, okay. So then this goes like this, around and around. And you could even, like, I could have done that in another color. That wasn't super pretty. If I cut just that little piece in, like, black glitter cardstock, that would have been beautiful. Okay. Okay. We are getting there. I'm going to hold all of this nice and tight. Give it a second to heal. The only thing I wish were done differently is I wish this would have had, but I guess she probably just didn't want it to, um, she probably just didn't want this to mess up. She didn't want it to like break. So, so I was going to say like stitching on it so it was easy to fold because so, this is going to go around the base. Um, but she probably just didn't want that to, to break. So I guess that makes sense. But what I'm going to do is I am going to, so I'm going to measure it right like that. So let me just, this has a nice little pick in it too. That is a cute little cute little set. Okay, so snap back. So this is what I'm going to do. I wish I had a pen out here and I don't. Okay, that's okay. So I'm going to take, you know, I take that back. I'm not going to. I'm not going to, because I don't think that naturally, I think naturally it would just go around like that. No, I take that back. I am going to need, I, you know what? Next time I might even, okay, so this is what, I, this is what I'm gonna do. I am going to take, should I hot glue this or should I use regular glue? Probably could use regular glue. So I'm gonna take, and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this on here, and then as I go around, I'm gonna do that. I don't want to crush it at the same time. I kind of be careful. But I want to make sure that I'm getting that I'm getting it all the way around. Okay. And if I had been smart, I would have put, I would have glued it all the way around. But I'm, I'm already done, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to do this and that. And then ultimately it won't. It won't really matter. Okay, so that is that part, right? So let me actually zoom out a little bit so you can see what I've done here. Okay, so that that's that. Okay, so now I'm gonna put, and I'm gonna put this on. So where do I want this bow? Right about right there? Yes. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Okay, so I think, let me think of the best way to do this. Let me see if I should, I think, I, I think, I, okay. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the tail on the bow first and then I'll put the whole thing onto there. So tail on the bow, actually I'll put a little bit more just to make sure that I don't lose it. Oops. And that tail line Right, uh, oops, we, thank goodness for work time. Okay, there we go. Okay, super, super, super pretty. There's gonna be so much we can do with this. And I was a little bit suspect about um, what colors I was going with, with, even with the bow. Like I wasn't really sure what would look best. Did I wanna do the bow the same color as the, flowers but that's the great part about this is that you can there's just so much that you can do 
There's so many different options of things that you can do to give yourself different looks. So how pretty is that? Okay. So, um, I don't know if hot glue is the best idea, but that's okay. Okay, so now, let's see. If I can zoom out a little bit, so I want to still be close enough in there so you can see what, oh. Good enough that you can see the glue strings. Okay, um, all right. So now, let's just see. Okay, so that's how that goes in. So that sits right on top. So right, so we do not have to, we don't have to glue that in. You leave that just like that, okay? And then that gives you the ability to make it so the flowers go right to the edge. So then you go ahead and you glue all of these flowers in. So let's, let me see what the best way to do this is going to be. Because I am going to want those flowers right up to... Okay, so I'm actually going to take this out of here and we'll put the flowers on and then pop it in there. And then, of course, with this, then you just hang that off, you know, hang that and whatever, put it on a on a, the um, baker's twine and then just hang that off or you can hang it off the side. So that's how you do that. Okay, so let's... And zoom you back in so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, and this is gonna be hot glue also. Ooh, hopefully I have enough hot glue. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm going to be sparing with my hot glue so that I have enough to get these all on here for you, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this kind of up to the edge because I, I want that to overlap. I want that when it's sitting in there to kind of like go like this up against the edge like a bouquet would. So I'm going to do that like that. And then I want to kind of flip the flowers up so that they're kind of like that. Let's see how many I can get in there. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. I'm so excited. Okay, so that's like that. Yeah. And then if I wanted to go back through and add some of that greenery, I could. Um, actually, I probably would put the greenery in first if I was going to do that. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Absolutely spectacular. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to put glue on just like that. And then you gotta kind of pick up your petals so that you're not gluing down your other petals with the glue from this. And also, you don't want it. So I'm 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 trying to be aware that I'm not getting this flower too far over the edge because even though you have that little bit of workspace, you don't you don't want to make it so much that it sits on top instead. Of, falling down in there. Oh my goodness. I This has by far exceeded my expectations. This is going to be super, super pretty. Uh, I'm getting down to the last of the glue. Hopefully I can get just enough out to, to finish this up. Okay. How many more do I need? Probably need three more. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. I might not have enough, but that's okay. You get the picture, you know how it works. So if you're still here with me, I know this has been an incredibly long video, but now you can make a super neat vase. Uh, so if you're still here with me, make sure you do join us on Facebook. I'm gonna link our group, like I said, I'll, I'll actually link to. I'll link Cricut for Beginners. That's like about 700,000 members. So Super fantastic, super friendly and helpful and knowledgeable. And that's not all beginners, it's all skill levels. So I'll link Cricut for beginners. I will link Cricut and Silhouette for beginners. That's another fantastic group, super friendly. Um, oh, we're running out of glue. Are we going to have enough? Okay, let me, don't recommend this, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try pushing it through. 
know if I can get enough out. Let's try. Let's see if we can get enough in there. Two more. Just two more. I think are the last two. I'm just going to put it in there and I'll just put them in there and I'll show you and then I'll glue them later on off camera. I just let me hold this down so this doesn't. So that the glue solidifies. Um, but I'll link those two groups in the video description. Make sure you join us, at least at one, if not both. They're both fantastic communities. Um, I'm also going to link everything I used here. I'll link this vase and this flower set. Super, super pretty. Highly recommend. This is one of my favorite designers. She's fantastic. She knows what she's doing. Her work is impeccable. Um, so I'll link, I'll link that in the video description. Um, here, let's just go ahead and put this in here. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see it. Um, so I will link that in the video description. I will link, um, well, everything I used. Hot glue gun, highly recommend. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Would you look at this? That is so pretty. So then we'll just go ahead and the last two flowers are going to be here and here. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Oh my goodness. I love, 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 love this. It is so pretty. And like I said, if I wanted to go back in and put um, greenery in there, I can pop it out. I can put fun stuff inside of there. Uh, I will link everything. I'll link the glue. I'll link these applicators. I'll link the quilling tools, um, hot glue gun, everything. So that's it. Thanks so much for sticking this out with me. I know it took forever. But it's so pretty. It was so worth it. Um, if you have any questions at all, ask them in the video description below or join us on Facebook and ask me there. I'm always in the groups. Always happy to help. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.